So, what's in the box? This is where the intro usually goes, All right? Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is uh, the Trunka one. I am here today brewing a little beer, and I figured, hey, I got time while uh, while we're uh, mashing out. Got the HLT up there, draining in. Nice hot work coming back out. As you can tell by the color, it's going to be a stout. I'm about uh, half full over here, and uh, here's what we came to do. My brother, Brian Fisher, um, sent me a, uh, <clears throat> a package. And so uh, I'm here now, I guess, to uh, open that sucker because uh, he was really adamant that I <laughs> that I drink them before they get really old. So, got the box. It's uh, one of those flat rate boxes, uh, about $15 to, to send. <clears throat> this particular one says 1505 So you get the idea, no matter what you put in there, whether it's lead or feathers, they'll send it for $15. Yeah, let me lock down on my camera there. All right, here we go. Very gently, so as not to uh, <laughs> cut any cans, like... Brian Fisher did, and John and Nelly did, Neely. Alright, oh, well, he's got it taped up pretty good, guys. In just a second, we'll get into it. And I'm going to have some mails coming around, too. T uh, tomorrow is the day, if I don't have to work, that I am going to get some jerky sent out to everybody, or at least packaged to send out next week. Because I have jerky, and uh, I've got everybody's phone uh, addresses, so uh, that's... Cheers, here we go. Bring this wrap box down there. Can do it to work? Yeah, it's still in there. All right, so we got some bubble wrap. Ah, it smells like Colorado. All right, cheers. How to give my wife something to do for a while. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Bigger bubble wrap. Oh yeah, it's definitely Colorado. All right, let's quit screwing around. Let's get into this stuff. All right, let's get rid of the bubble wraps. Put them over there for now. Look at the way he packages this stuff. Let's try this one here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thinking I know what this is, boys. Good job with the uh, packing, I might add. Bubble wrap and, and uh, plastic bags, with plastic bags. Say a gross bottle. Oh, I bet that's that key lime one. I'm not sure. All right. This is obviously a homebrew, and it's not the gross that. Uh, that the bottle portrays. I forget which one that is. That's that uh, one that everybody's been bragging about. And then we got uh, this another one, I assume. Oh, I don't want to crack into one, it's pretty soon. They've been in the refrigerator, but to be very honest, that refrigerator could be a little colder. So I'm going to put them on the inside refrigerator, which two of the same. Hopefully, it's one of Brad's homebrews that uh, he's been bragging about lately and everybody else has uh, wanted also. Okay, that's that. And then we got. What looks like a, a cis pack. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Got boxes and inside of uh, bubble wrap. Ow, that didn't hurt. Gingerly. Uh, you lighten that thing? All right. Get into there. Can y'all see? Yep. You can see. Wow, what a nifty box. <clears throat> oh boy, he's got it taped. <laughs> it's like taped over, and I don't know how he did all that, but wow, is there. Okay, this is not going to be easy. How do we go about this? I guess I'll cut between the cans. Very good job. And I uh, thank you in advance. Oh boy. See, if this wasn't live, <laughs> I would have muted the camera and got into this thing. Yeah, he's got it packed really tight. What is that, shrink wrap? Crap. Open. Why don't we spend some time putting these in here? They all made it safely, so job well done. Alright. Longest video ever. Arr. Jesus. I have any man. It's going to take a minute. Just give me the beer already. There you go. Alright. Okay, this is uh, Pancakes Maple Porter by Renegade Brewing Company. <laughs> Okay, it is uh, tap for tap, one gallon one day. Uh, each gallon of Renegade beer purchase provides one day of safe drinking water to a person in need. All right, cool. So the fish, a fish offensively delicious. It's a maple porter. And the ABV is, 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 where's the ABV? 
blah, 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 blah. I am not finding the ABV on that unless it's just really, really small and I'm missing it. Anyway, so, and uh, he said he sent two of each of these. Back to the knife. So, let's see what this is. Pet Blade really sucks. Okay, Lone, Lone Tree Brewing Company is a double IPA Imperial India Pale Ale. It is 8.0% ABV. Look at that. I like the, the green color of it. Double IPA, Moon Star. <clears throat> All right, looks awesome. Keep on keeping on. The only reason I'm really doing this is because, well, I'm getting thirsty. I was thinking, I had a little brew stuff real quick. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I'll have one of these beers while I'm brewing today. Yeah, come on, baby, you can do it. Yeah, next time I do this, I will start with a fresh razor. <clears throat> All right. Mm, that sounds interesting. <clears throat> this is from uh, Dive, Drive Dock Brewing, and it's a uh, vanilla porter. Porter with vanilla beans added is the 5.4% ABV. And I like the uh, I like the octopus on there. It's kind of cool. I mean, I need to get some beer in my life. I'm shaking. I feel like Jesse right now. All right, cool, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And so this one here. Oh, he said, oh, he said he had two of each, but no, they're quite different, actually. All right, so here, and even better, even better. It means more flavors to try. Uh, dry Dock Brewing, Hazy IPA. It's got the, uh, I guess their, their whole slogan or whatever is all, like, ceased us. Anyway, yeah, got the guy in the diver's suit. This is a 6.3% Hazy IPA. That sounds good, too. I'm so excited. Right, maybe I can get into that one easy or not. What kind of box did you use, Brian? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, and then uh, Lone Tree. I guess all these Lone Tree are out of probably a uh, probably out of Colorado. If I had to guess at it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lone Tree, Colorado. Awesome. <clears throat> this is Lone Tree Brewing Red Ale. You know, this might even be on that Red Ale for the uh, for the Multi Monday, huh? It's Red Ale, Irish style ale, ale. Six percent. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Run that rim over here. And one more. I'm seeing dry dock already, so assuming these are good beers if Brian sent them, because Brian really knows his beers. And come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Wait. And dry dock. Apricot blind. Hmm. All right, it's ale brewed with apricot puree, and it is a 5.1%. Man, oh man. All right, look at all those wonderful beers. Toss this over here. Look at that line up, boys. Uh, can you make sure it's shorter? Yes, I'll make it shorter. Make it shorter. All right, how about that? Yeah, let's get them lined up. Get a look at them all. So we got the Red Ale. This is Lone Tree, Lone Tree. This is the Renegade. Dry Dock. Dry Dock. Dry Dock. Wow. What a beautiful lineup. Sexy. All right. So with that uh, all being said and done, I want to thank y'all for coming by. Thanks, Brian Fisher, especially, for sending me such a cool beer mail. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into those. Those, uh... Those homebrews especially, because something tells me it's going to be better than all these other cans. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, though. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Like I said, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll be putting out some videos here before long. I've just been super duper busy at work. And I'm not going to make excuses, but uh, that's what's happened anyway. But I will see you all around on the live streams and such, because uh, I've been spending a lot of time doing those live streams. Uh, anyway, let me get out of here. Got to get back to brewing. The dry stout. Thanks again, Brian. You are awesome, 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 and I will return the favor. And I got jerky and stuff going out to a lot of people I owe. And uh, Beer Man, if you are watching, your gizmo's inside of here, man. <laughs> it's helping out because it's been a little breezy today, so the, the burner doesn't uh, work so well when it's breezy. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks again, and y'all have a great day. Wash your hands and stay safe. Adios. Cheers from the drunken one.